Well, just, you know, you can't stop the run. It's going to have a hard time winning. You know, it's the bottom line. You give up 367 yards rushing. We have guys at the point of attack, and you get whipped up front, and you don't tackle. Uh, you know, it's very, very frustrating. I thought the key going in was tackling their backs. I knew they were going to be you know, try to run the football. We just uh, had guys there and, and can't get guys on the ground consistently well. They stay on the field on third down because they've got manageable down in distances. The entire game, we played well enough offensively to win the game. You rush for 150 yards, you throw for 240. Uh, you know, you ought to win the football game. We're very good on the, especially in the first half on third down offensively. Uh, but uh, you know, just defensively, not inability to having guys at the point of attack and not getting guys on the ground is extremely frustrating. So that's where we are. It's a hard, tough loss. We had our opportunities, and, and give Florida credit, they made the plays they had to at the end. So I'll open up for any questions. Well, I just, you know, you got to get guys on the ground. You got to bring your feet. I see too many guys stopping their feet. It's not something that hasn't been addressed. Uh, bringing their feet on contact. You got to run your feet, especially against good backs that have big lower bodies, which all three backs do that we played today. Uh, you got to bring your feet on these guys. And we just, you know, we, we stop in the open field. You can't do that in, in this league. You got to be able to run on contact. And that's not something we consistently are doing. At times we are doing, you know, Jalen Dickerson was the only injury we had. He was got a hamstring, so we, were, we we got pretty spent there at the safety position late. They're fine. Bryson's had sur he's ended up having to have surgery this week, a very similar situation of Dennis Warnham. I think we'll get we'll get him back for the bowl game, but I don't know past that. What's that? As far as our offense? Well, I mean, again, we were running the same things we did early in the game and having a lot of success. We had the same run checks that we felt good about. Uh, they did a little better job leveraging the football in some situations, but we felt good about where we were. Thought he played well. I think he was 14 of 18 in the first, well, I mean, uh, you know, just uh, throwing game-wise. You know, second half, they did a, better, a little better job. We, you know, we got to manage some situations a little better, but I thought he was accurate with the football. I mean, he had a couple drops there at the end. It could be first downs and give yourself an opportunity to drive down and win the game. It was a scramble pass. Their guy did a good job uh, falling back inside on it. What's that? No, I think we got whipped up front. I think it's caught like it is. No, we've called the same things we were calling to get to that point. You know, we hit a slant for, you know, 80 something yards, 89 yards, I believe. The same things that we called later in the game. We had a couple drops there at the end to give you some opportunities. We had some run checks that were working well uh, that they leveraged and did a little better job on. So, didn't, didn't change the mindset at all. Well, we've been in this situation a lot. We had four minutes to go in the game. We had our opportunities, and we just got to go finish some plays. You know, same things that we did early in the game, we didn't do on that drive. So it was frustrating. No, it's tough. You know, when you come on the, to the, on the road in our league and have the opportunities that we had in front of us today uh, to lose the game, it's, it's gut-wrenching. You know, it's, it's, it's one that you'll carry for a while. Uh, but as you know, as hard as we prepare and, and as much we put into it, it's going to hurt. That's that, that's it's frustrating. It, 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 that's part of the part of the deal. That's what they've used him from a lot of the season. Yeah. I think missed tackles were the biggest issue that I saw. I thought, you know, we got to whip some blocks up front. You can't lose your one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I thought too many times we were getting pushed and, and not winning our one-on-ones, but you got to tackle and get guys on the ground. What's that? It's pretty much a reflection of where we've been. And what the issue you're getting into is you, we're not making plays on the second level. And that's, that creates explosive runs. Well, when they come to preseason camp, whatever you expect them to have, they come to the first 
we teach it, but at the end of the day, you guys got to tackle. You know, at the end of the day, they got to do it. No, just inability to stop the run. And we had as many as we could have. It's frustrating. I don't think so. I mean, it's, they kept the drive alive. It was a critical third down situation where we, you know, they're trying to answer off a score. Uh, but I, I don't know that it was uh, a turning point. I think that it just you know left them on the field. We had an opportunity to get off the field, but our guys have handled those situations before. On, on what's that? Well, again, I, the whistle had blown, but they review every play in the box, and we have people that are reviewing because it's harder on the road because you don't get the same looks. And so in that situation, they're reviewing every play. I had communication with the official on the field that the play was being reviewed and they didn't stop play. If, there, if it was a question, they would have stopped play. And so in those situations, you know, it's not like the NFL where you got to throw a flag to challenge it. If they felt like there was, a, there was an issue, they would have stopped play. They didn't think there was an issue from the box. I'm not going to waste a timeout in that time of the game, uh, you know, to, to, to try and delay more time for them to look at it. I had communication with the official, and that he was telling me they're looking at it. But the whistle had blown. That's what I thought. I thought on the field the whistle had blown. Well, again, this one's going to hurt. We're going to get over it, to, you know, get back in the office tomorrow and, and go to work and, and have a great senior night. Well, the guy was having a lot of hang time, and you know, he was right at 4-3, four, 4-4. Four, four. And so, you know, they were covering down inside the 30 on most of those situations, which is, you know, put a little more stress on your return game. Uh, when he was kicking it flat or early in the game, we didn't mind it as much. But that's something we talked about at halftime. He was, four, he was about 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, on some of the kicks. Thank you. Thank you.